Let's go, baby. Let's go. Ah. Chewbacca dub as well. Two dubs on the day. Welcome back to the channel, lads. It is May 4th, and that means it's time for the annual Star Wars x Fortnite crossover. And this might be the most ambitious they've ever done, is there's something new in every part of the Fortnite multiverse. So we're gonna check out the patch notes so I make sure I don't miss anything new in this video. My name is Sourheart, and if you wanna support this channel, be sure to use that code in the Fortnite item shop when buying any of these Star Wars cosmetics, including the LEGO Battle Pass, which is exclusive to that mode. And this is probably the biggest thing added in this update. By simply buying this Battle Pass, you'll get a Chewbacca skin, but there are many things within this Battle Pass and I don't think anyone expected Fortnite to actually do this, especially coming off of the Avatar The Last Airbender collab battle pass, which was actually 400 V-Bucks cheaper. If you'll notice, this is 1400 V-Bucks. And it's actually very easy to unlock all of these cosmetics. There's a couple of quests too that you can do to get some free cosmetics, but it's only a bed and a chair, very minimal free rewards in this. However, when you enter the Lego Fortnite mode, you'll actually witness a special event that is, again, exclusive to this game mode. And it's gonna unlock a whole series of quests and challenges, including a brand new village square. In fact, the changes are so extensive that Epic Games has made a blog post just for this. And as we can see, these quests will be about helping the rebels build up their rebel village and you'll unlock special tools such as lightsabers and empire or rebel blasters as well. As it says right here, before investigating the empire crash site, you should check with your rebel allies and they'll give you a special pair of macro binoculars which will point to a special rebel village. From there, you'll have to increase the rebel village to level 10. And I think the best part about this is that you don't have to worry about this disappearing as the rebel village will remain once the Star Wars update is gone. So this will be a permanent fixture in your Lego world. You'll also be tasked with investigating the crash site of the Star Destroyer, and there will be enemy camps around it as well that you'll have to infiltrate and take back. And you can choose not to destroy these camps and keep them past the end of this event as well. Same thing with the Star Destroyer, so it's your choice whether you choose it or keep it, but I think this is very cool that it'll be permanently there in your Lego world. A little bit more detail about the Lego lightsabers, you'll actually have access to different colors, and you don't get them by crafting, you just have to build up your Rebel Village, and apparently when you have one lightsaber, you'll be able to collect more even faster. Of the other Star Wars weapons coming to the LEGO mode, I think the Thermal Detonator is the one that people will probably be the most interested in since it's essentially super dynamite, and you're going to have to collect Durastil to unlock all of these, and I imagine this is uh, an ingredient that's exclusive to these Rebel and Empire camps. And as far as I can tell, all you need to do to make this a permanent part of your LEGO world is just to log in once, so be sure to do that before this event ends and it is going to end on May the 14th, by the way. Only 11 days, very short event. But that's everything we were talking about the Lego mode. Let's talk about the Battle Royale mode and all the changes there. The biggest change by far is the addition of Chewbacca to the map and you have to save him from the Empire. And he'll be a prisoner that'll randomly spawn at the beginning of every round of Battle Royale. And once you liberate him, you'll actually get his bowcaster. And this bowcaster is very interesting as you can actually shoot individual shots very quickly or charge him up for an explosive round. And even if you don't manage to to get Chewbacca, you'll actually be able to find these inside Imperial chests as well. And there's also the returning E11 blasters, which I'm not particularly a fan of. They were never really that great, and I imagine they're going to be even worse now that rifles can be scoped. We also have the return of Darth Vader, and he brings his lightsaber as well. And the lightsabers are okay. They have the ability to reflect bullets, and this one in particular can be thrown for a ranged attack, which is probably the better way to use it, as the melee attack only does 150 damage over five strikes diminishing returns for sure. Now there is a free back bling in Battle Royale and the quests for this are gonna unlock in two phases. So you're not gonna be able to unlock this back bling immediately. And interestingly, this back bling actually belongs to a skin they're selling in the shop and they made a special screen for it and everything. So they're really trying to entice you to buy in and you're gonna see that when we go through the shop here further in the video. In the festival mode, they've turned the jam stage into the Moss Eisley Cantina. A nice little cosmetic change though, I don't really ever play the jam stage i barely even play the main stage and there is a special quest reward to unlock a star wars themed guitar and they've actually released one of the cheapest instrument bundles ever in festival for this event though i should warn you that this cantina band track is copyrightable you can't put this in monetized content so any content creators out there watching beware rocket racing also has a couple of cosmetics you can earn 
two car decals and a wheel trail as well. And you're gonna unlock these literally just by playing this game mode and all the quests are unlocked right at the start. And I think the point of these quests really is just to get people playing because Rocket Racing is by far the least of all aspects of this Fortnite multiverse. It barely even has 10K players average. And there actually used to be a time limit on the challenges related to this game mode, but they simply removed that. And the time limit for the Star Wars challenges is actually longer than the Star Wars event itself, which is very interesting. However, all the Rocket Racing cosmetics can be used in Battle Royale and Rocket League as well, so these are worth getting if you play that game. Which I guess is why the car in the shop is so expensive. The best car bundle, it's 2,800 V-Bucks, but you get four styles, and again, it's also usable in Rocket Racing. Racing. Though it is strange to me that the most dead game mode has the most expensive cosmetics. Comment what you guys think of that down below. I find it kind of odd. When it comes to Star Wars skins, I think the one people are going to care about the most is Lando Calrissian. He is new with this crossover. Long time coming, though there is a Dagobah Luke for what it's worth. He has a Yoda back bling. Kind of interesting that they've been bringing back these living back blings that make sounds and animations and stuff, but they only do it for the collab events. There's also a short list of skins we can expect to return, including everyone's fan favorite character, Zori Bliss. Who? What was the point of Zori Bliss in the Star Wars sequel trilogy? I still don't know what the hell they made that character for. But be aware that all of this ends on May 14th. It is a very short mini collab event, so be sure to drop on in, get all these quests, get all these limited time cosmetics. Definitely drop into LEGO Fortnite at the very least so that you have all the new Star Wars stuff on your map because it'll permanently stay there forever. Of course, use code SOURHEART if this video helps you out or if you want to support this channel. Comment down below what you think of this crossover and be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be doing videos where I max out my Rebel Village. I'm also going to be doing a video where I get a solo W using only the Star Wars items in Battle Royale and you're definitely not going to want to miss those.